morning. Morning. Um, okay, plan for today is to... Go back inside because it's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so soft. Um, but first of all, we're just going to give a, a quick knock to a chap called Brian, who uh, is a, um, what is he? He's blacksmith. a blacksmith, that's right. And uh, yeah, operating from his boat. So uh, just going to go and have a quick chat with Brian and uh, see what that's all about. Because we know nothing about it. So see what he says. So getting your sort of trader's license, was that just really easy? Because we were looking at um, that and... Um, it was fine, yeah, from CRT it was fine. Yeah, the cam did come down and have a look at it because it was something a bit different. But they were quite happy with it all. Yeah. Well, it's appropriate to the canals, isn't it? It's not like... Yeah. Um, well, I think they just, from a safety angle, they want to know that it's not doing anything dangerous or... Oh, wow, it's like... Check oh, that out. Oh, my word. <laughs> It's a proper little workshop in there you've got then. It is. Gosh. It didn't really look big enough from the outside, but it's surprising what yeah, you've got in the, there. Once take the, uh, the work out, it's actually pretty good. It doesn't like that. That's amazing. <laughs> the one thing you, the camera doesn't pick up is the smell. <laughs> it smells fantastic. So that's a forge in there, I can't actually open it until I've moved everything. So that's... Right, so excuse my ignorance then. So you're taking just bits of metal and heating them up, which makes the metal, what, malleable? Uh, it makes it a lot softer, yeah, so you can bend it and twist it, forge it into different sections. And then you cool, you have to cool it down fairly quickly, do you? Or you, can you just um, leave yeah, it? You don't have to cool it down quickly. That's traditionally what you see people doing. But actually, sometimes if you say you've made something, you want to drill some holes in it afterwards. You actually better not cool it down quickly because it makes it too hard. Right, it's easy when it's easy when it's softer. So you 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 make things what to to order, or you just? Uh, you so just... I've got quite a range of things. So I've got things like um, companion sets, candlesticks. These are quite popular, they, have, they hold like a, a bottle and oh, a couple cool. of glasses. Oh, cool. It's a spike into the Into the ground, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can sit at the opera, what have you got to? <laughs> on the towpath. <laughs> on the towpath and have your wine without it falling over. Oh, that's amazing. So there you go, I mean, look, that's got a heart top. I've got one with a treble cleft top also. I did one with a, just a little scrolly top. But if somebody said to you, can you make me a whatever, you'd you'd do that? I tend to be able to, yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously, with a workshop being so small, people ask me to make gates, but <laughs> a very small gate. So, right. I have sort of made gates before that are like this size, but yeah. you know, you've got to turn them over to weld them. And is that those lengths behind? Is that what you start off with? Then is that the uh, yeah, raw that's material? Like the raw material, yeah. The, if you order it from the stockyard, the steel stock holders, they come in six meter length, <gasps> and that I come in three, so that's a, <laughs> so they that, fit. That two meters, <laughs> yeah. So I made, I've sort of made the wrap, so I'll take a third of the bar. How long have you been a blacksmith then? Uh, most of my life. I started out as a turner miller, which is like an engineer. And when did you come on the boats? Um, 1989. Right. Oh, so you've been working from this workshop since then, have you, or not? Uh, no, I built this a bit late. I built this in 93. So even that's cool, isn't it? I built this. <laughs> As you do, yeah, just build yourself a workshop. I suppose if that's if you do what you do, then why not? Well, you couldn't really buy anything. No, I bet not. 
I bet not. So this is what? This is mild steel, is it? Is that is that uh, the, yeah, the raw material? All oh, right, sorry about that. It's a term I use. It's got, I mean, it says where it is. It's mild in as much as it's. Uh, it's supposed to be non-hardenable. So if you want to make something like a knife, you need a hardenable steel. Right. But if you make things that don't need to be hard, you use a mild steel. I like this. Like log bucket, is it? Uh, so it's either for logs or you can put a fire. Fire pit. Fire pit. Oh, yeah, yeah, it could be a fire pit. Yeah. Yeah. Got a dragon's tail and the head as well. Head, yeah. Oh, I hadn't spotted his head. That? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is cool. So go on then, shock me. How long does it take to make something like that? Um, I didn't actually time it, but a long time. Yeah, just got a lot of work. Yeah. And this is what a hobby, just keeping your eye in, or no, you you, my you, you my it is, Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Does that sort of take some of the fun out of it then, if you've got to earn money out of it and not really? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I think it sort of gives you purpose in a way, doesn't it? Sort of. Yeah, something to get up and... You've got to make it work, you know, rather than just... Yeah. And you you, you need the air then, presumably. How are we doing? All right, thank you. How are you? Morning. 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 Right, so we've just found out that Brian is the one and only. <laughs> the last the last blacksmith working on a boat. Which is uh, which is pretty cool. So does it I, I was gonna say does the boat move, but we've actually just realised in chatting off camera that actually we've we've sort of bumped into each other before in Napton, haven't we? So I know your boat moves, I'm but not literally. Yeah, not well it was a windy day having said that, so um so how does that work then? So, because this boat's unpowered, is it? I uh, know this has got the engine in, so this is a motorboat. Oh right, Emily, pushing. Push the boat. Pushing. Yeah. Oh wow, that's blowing my mind. A lot of boats do that on the continent. They do. They have tugs pushing big cargo boats. How on? On the Rhine. Uh, how do you just steer that? Whoa. Well, it's rigid, sort of rigidly attached together, so it's like steering a 70-foot boat. Yeah. Oh, it seems okay. around like yeah. 60 foot. So this hour, bit doesn't. Bit yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't pivot here then. No. Right. Did you make this connection thing? Uh, yes, yeah, so I built this boat and built all that in between bits. It's got like a location, so there's a. Oh uh, yeah, in the middle. Yeah, it's locked on the back of Emily and it's slopping, grunting. So there, sort of, that keeps it central, centralised. Then I've just got the two straps. No, I haven't. That keeps even, it in line. I haven't even tweaked Emily and Bronte. I put those two things yeah. together. <laughs> but when we go, when we go on the other canals, the narrow canals, I put a chain underneath. So it's a bit more permanent. So is there, there is still some movement, is there, or is that completely rigid with the way um, it's set up? It's pretty rigid. I mean, these come a bit slack, so you just got to tweak them up right. a little bit sometimes. That is so cool. So is that, is that the total length then now, 74? Uh, it's about 71.6, when have got it. Right. Right. So if you're in, so presumably you, you have to sort of go side by side and strap up that way, do you, if, if you're in a... Uh, and these locks, yeah. We yeah. Have to. Side by side, that's right. Yeah. Gosh, um, I just put it on with some ropes and carabiners. Awesome. It's on the side, I don't have it really tight. I think it's safer having it a bit slacker in the locks. Some it's skill in that, thing. isn't there? Yeah. How, how often do you move then? Um, well, every two weeks or more often than that, usually. Oh, right. So, where are you off to next? We're going to go uh, west. Right. Put right. into a little uh, village festival in Nozzle near Stafford. Oh yeah, yeah. Middle of July. Oh excellent. That'll be nice, won't it? Yeah. Especially at that time of year, that'll be uh, spot yeah. on. It's a nice little one because they have like there's a village, there's a pub at each end of the village, and they have like music on and stuff. So excellent. It's just a nice little, nice little one. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully you'll sell some kit as well. So. Uh, yeah. 
which I thought you might um, being a trader might be able to stay longer but are you still bound by the uh, 14 day we're bound by a 14 day you can do on a 48 hour more and you can arrive on Friday and leave Monday right. that's the sort of dispensation that we get but in reality did they just leave you alone um, yeah I don't think I've ever been told to move in. no no I, I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't have thought that um, yeah, that'd be a bit harsh, wouldn't it? Yeah, that is really interesting. Yeah, yeah, that is actually. I'd... So we just walked past and saw the uh, saw the sign, but I just can't, that that is that is mind blowing setup. That isn't it? Like that's like proper man cave stuff. <laughs> do you want one of these next? <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd have no idea what to do. <laughs> you could learn. Yeah, yeah. Well, and and that's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You can anything you set your mind to. It's just it's just learning, isn't it? So, um, I mean, it's nice to see things that aren't made in China. Frankly, <laughs> I think Chinese are quite good at making things. It's just we always want them for nothing. Mm. So we like go over there. Can you make us uh, these for naught? Yeah. Yes, of course we can. Yeah. Whereas doing it this way, there's 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 time and money involved in that, isn't there? Hello YouTube. I hope she put her knickers away. So. Hopefully this is good viewing for you. Turn the stick upside down. <laughs> 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 